this is Chris with MyWebsiteAdvisor.com. Uh, welcome to our video. Today I'm going to be talking about our transparent watermark, uh, the ultra uh, version of that plugin. Uh, we've released a new feature. Um, a lot of people have requested the ability to have this plugin be able to watermark images that are already on your server as opposed to the functionality that it had uh, would only automatically watermark images that you were uploading. It did, did that as you were uploading it. So we've added on um, to the plugin, expanded a little bit, so you can uh, specify the um, exact image that you want to add the watermark to. And we've also added the controls. I have a blog post about it here on our website. And um, I have a screenshot, and I'm going to actually be walking through how this works in our video here today. Uh, so. I'm over on our my website, Hearst Digital Creations, uh, with all my photographs here. And if we go into the admin, I, if you notice, I've disabled for my demonstration the automatic watermarking. Everything else in the back end here is the same. I am using the Ultra version, uh, which is uh, necessary for this new feature to work. Um, now the new feature is going to let us manually add the watermark. So I'm on the upload new media screen and I'm just going to drag a cool picture of a cardinal here and we'll upload that. And remember I have the automatic watermarking turned off. So none of these images that it uploads here should have a watermark applied. And you can see that the preview here does not have a watermark and now you're, you can see that basically WordPress generates a whole bunch of different size images. Um, you don't really need to know why it does that, just basically it's for the icons and the thumbnails and stuff like that. And I do have a cool preview utility here you can use. So um, you can see that none of these have a watermark. And really I only need to add the watermark to the, the big guy, the original. So you just click on that and click the add watermark button. It's going to take a little while. It's going to tell you that it's done. It gives you the actual URL um, of the image if you wanted to type that in. Uh, but you don't have to because it's right here and you'll notice that it's there. Probably not the best place for the, the, the watermark to be, but uh, that's the really cool thing is I can specify it actually right from here, right from this screen now. I can specify where I want that watermark to go. So instead of 25, really it should have probably been at 75%. Uh, we want it to be, let's make it a little bit wider, we'll make it 80% width, and then horizontally we'll have it uh, centered. So, um, so I'm going to actually hit add watermark again, and check out the preview. And you'll notice that it did add the second watermark. Now, obviously I'm not going to leave it like this. I'll delete it and re-upload it. Um, but at least you can see uh, that you do have that manual control over exactly where the watermark is going to be placed. And with this cool preview function, you can check out your different size images. A lot of people don't even know that this many different sizes exists. And uh, it kind of helps with troubleshooting wh why the watermarks aren't showing up sometimes. Um, and it's also really nice to have this manual control so you don't uh, have to go into the plugin settings and adjust where it's going to be located each time. Uh, so I'm going to get back to work here. I'm going to go in and, like I said, delete this image and re-upload it. Now I know exactly where I want the watermark to be, so I'll remember that for next time. Um, hopefully this video has uh, explained this feature a little bit more in depth. I know a lot of people had requested this feature, so I hope uh, those people are going to be excited and uh, buy their copy of the plugin now. Uh, remember, it's for sale on our website, uh, mywebsiteadvisor.com. Uh, thank you much for watching this video. Have a great day.